Hello there, mate. Welcome to my part two video where I analyze the presidential candidates Donald Trump and Hillary Clinton. I've already made a Hillary Clinton video, right? And in that video, even though I talked about her wanting to go to war, right? Even more shit has come up recently. That's even worse. If we were going to push for an election, then we should have made sure that we did something to determine who was going to win. But oi, don't worry about that cunt for now, right? Because in this video, we're going to talk about the main man himself, Donald fucking Trump. <laughs> Not going to lie, right? Me making this video is a bit concerning for myself, because apparently, Trump has a bit of a fetish for suing people. I'll probably sue Rosie. Let's start with Bill Maher. I'll sue him. I'm going to have to sue Univision now. You threatened to sue me and my parents for giving birth to me. Jesus Christ, man. Now, granted, that's not as bad as Hillary suiciding people, right? Yes, we came, we saw, <laughs> he died. <laughs> but not going to lie, if I found out that I was being sued by Donald Trump, that would probably ruin my day. Seriously, though, people do say that Trump likes to sue people for criticizing him. Oh, shit. Isn't this video right here a criticism video, Grade? What? No! <laughs> no! Of course not! This is not a Donald Trump criticism video, man. Right? Because if it was, I'd get sued! This video is a Trump support video! Listen, I very suddenly realized how Trump is clearly the best president America could ever ask for. And not only that, right? But also the sexiest! Again, if I was to make a video pointing out all of the criticisms against Trump to bash him, I might get sued. Right? But if I make a video pointing out all the criticisms against Trump because I want to point out how ridiculous they are, then I wouldn't. Hopefully. So I thought I would help him out and show you guys some of the criticisms against Trump just so I can point out how crazy they are. Right? This one's for you, Donald. Let's go. Okay, so first of all, Trump very much fancies himself as being a military strategist and commander-in-chief. But there's nobody bigger or better at the military than I am. But not as an English student. Clearly going to war with the grammar Nazis with that sentence there, weren't you, Donald? But we don't need to worry, right? Because I can't think of a person better suited to tackle religious extremists than Donald Trump. His entire life has revolved around building skyscrapers, right? So of course he's gonna hate anyone who wants to knock them down! But listen, Hillary Clinton's a dickhead for wanting to go to war with Syria and Russia with a no-fly zone, right? But Trump has some pretty interesting plans himself when it comes to defeating ISIS. Well, to discuss that point further, I have a special guest. The man himself, Donald Trump. <laughs> Welcome to the show, Donald Trump. I love being on your show. Well, we love having you here. Now listen, before we start, right, just so everyone watching knows, you said that you would agree to come on my show because you're a big fan of my channel. Is that correct? It is good. It's great, eh? It's the best. Ah, oh, thanks, Donald. That's really nice of you to say. But enough kissing my ass, Donald. Let's get to the hard-hitting issues that people want to hear about. Your military strategy. People want to know your military strategy to make sure you'd be a responsible commander-in-chief and not some trigger-happy, hot-headed child who can't be trusted with the nuclear codes. So let's have a look at what you said regarding that. You just tell me how you're going to solve these Good. problems. ISIS, how are you going to defeat ISIS? I would hit them so hard. I would knock the hell out of ISIS. Okay. I would hit them so hard your head would spin. I would bomb the shit out of them. You bomb the hell out of them and then you encircle it. I'd blow up the pipes, I'd blow up the refi- I'd blow up every single inch. There would be nothing left. I don't care. I don't care. So you're saying there's a chance you might bomb them? Listen, never ideal, but it has to be considered our guess, right? Right. I'm scared to ask, but any other military strategies? Take back the oil. There's nobody bigger or better at the military than I am. Once you go over and take back that oil, they have nothing. But how do you the other thing is with the terrorists, you have to take out their families. I would certainly go after the wives. When you get these terrorists, you have to take out their families. I guess your definition of what I do, I'm going to leave that to your imagination. We should go for waterboarding. But I will tell you, I would be very tough on families. And we should go tougher than waterboarding. But they then came to me. What do you think of waterboarding? I said, it's fine. And if we want to go stronger, I'd go stronger too. Jesus Christ, Donald. So you want to bomb the shit out of an entire area, kill the terrorists, take the oil, kill the families of the terrorists, and waterboard and torture anyone who somehow manages to survive all of that shit. 
I do. I mean, I think you have to. It's a great idea! Now listen, Donald, I don't mean to call you a plagiarist, right? But I think I've heard your plan before somewhere. Crush your enemies, see them driven before you, and they hear the lamentation of the women. That is good. Fucking hell, Donald! Taking inspiration on how to tackle ISIS from someone who is literally a barbarian. Right. Now that's how you do foreign policy. I dream of little monsters. Oh, listen, sorry about this, everyone. But in the two-second transition that you heard just now, Donald Trump had to leave. Said he has a lawsuit he needs to settle. Someone apparently said that Trump's dick isn't two feet long. He referred to my hands. If they're small, something else must be small. I guarantee you there's no problem. I guarantee it. But no worries. Let's talk about Trump dealing with other countries. Now listen, right? A lot of people who aren't me say things like, Trump is a rude, loud-mouthed idiot who won't get along with anyone and doesn't respect other countries. There is no Iraq. That. There is no Iraq. All right, so you don't respect them. You I don't have them. any respect for them. Mexico's not happy with me. When Mexico sends its people, they're bringing drugs, they're rapists, and you can tell them to go themselves. 25% tax on China unless they behave. Listen, you motherfuckers, we don't tax you 25%. But even if he is all that shit, right? Who cares? He's a man who says he can get things done, right? And do you want proof that Trump can get things done? Not a problem, mate. Because one of Trump's main campaign promises, which everyone knows, right, is that he wants to build a wall between America and Mexico. And not only that, right, but he's going to get Mexico to pay for it. For the they wall. will pay for the wall. And the wall will go up and Mexico will start behaving. Making America great again, baby. Do you see how confident Trump is? Because he knows that he can convince anyone to do what he wants, even other world leaders. And if you still don't believe me, right, just have a look at this. If you watch this clip, right, you can see former president of Mexico, Vincente Fox, admitting that he is going to build that fucking wall like Trump wants him to. I declare, uh, I'm not going to pay for that fucking wall. There is no way that Mexico can pay a wall like that. You see? Ah, oh, tut! Wait, what? I, I must be hearing things. It sounded to me like he said he's not going to pay for the wall. I'm not going to pay for that fucking wall. There is no way that Mexico can pay a wall like that. He should pay for it. What's going on, man? Listen, Donald Trump always says so confidently that he's going to get things done, right? Yet here the Mexican leaders are saying that they're not going to listen to Trump. Why aren't these guys, who Trump said so confidently that he would be able to influence them into doing what he wants them to do, not being influenced into doing what he wants them to do? Well, if you watch this clip, Donald Trump himself will tell you why. I have friends that want to get, and they think I have like this great influence, okay? They're wrong. They think I have like this great influence, okay? They're wrong. 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 Donald Trump just said that he, Donald Trump, doesn't have great influence. Do you realize what this means? Donald Trump is gonna sue Donald Trump. Listen, if you watch the entire interview, right, you'll hear that the story Trump is telling is that he wasn't able to help someone get a fucking green card. So as a billionaire with access to some of the most powerful people in the government, if he can't get someone a fucking green card, what? What the fuck can he do? You fucking idiot! Donald Trump? More like Ronald McDonald Trump, you fucking clown! Talking like you have all this influence in the world, right? But then you say in an interview with Bill O'Reilly that friends of yours who think you have this great influence are wrong. So if friends of yours who think you having this great influence are wrong, right? I guess potential voters who think the same thing would be wrong as well, wouldn't they? You fucking clown! Why don't you go back to McDonald's and eat some Big Macs, you fat fuck? You motherfucker! is what someone might criticize Trump for. Ha <laughs> ha! But not me! Remember that I'm here to demonstrate what someone might hypothetically say against Trump, and to tell you that it's a shit criticism, that you shouldn't listen to it, and that Trump is absolutely the man that we should all vote for, alright? Don't sue me, vote for Trump! Their smiling faces Give me Seriously, fuck both of these candidates. They both suck so fucking much. Except Trump. Seriously, I feel bad for Americans. I really do. But at the same time, I kind of don't. 
Listen, Americans complain all the time about only having two candidates, as they should, right? But despite the shit candidates you have right now, right? So many Americans still consider voting for a third party candidate as a waste of a vote. Yeah, because voting for one of these two idiots, that totally isn't a wasted vote, is it? Now listen, I'm not going to tell you who I think you should vote for, right? Because I have no business telling you that. But listen, this video has been long enough already, right? So I'm going to end it here. I'm going to make that one last political video next weekend, right before the elections, and then I'm officially done with politics, right? So take your pick, America. War or idiot? Listen, fuck Hillary and fuck Trump.